Hello, everybody. This is your host, your friend, and your mentor, Sukhbir Singh, back again with another episode in our podcast series, Mind Magic Toolbox. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you are right now. You know, I usually, whenever I record these podcasts, I think about you, the one who is listening to this podcast right now, right here. The reason why I think about you is because whenever I record something or whenever I try to share anything, my main purpose is is to serve you, is to give you an information or give you something that will really help you to achieve the success that you want to achieve and to achieve the results that you want in any area of your life. And today's message, it, it's perfectly suited for you. It is coming from a book that I'm presently studying. It's a marvelous book, The Acorn Principle by Jim. Jim Cathcart. And you know, Jim has put up an excellent, it, it's like a marvelous piece of work right here. And I'm going to share some of the key ideas and concepts that Jim has shared in the book. And I'm going to elaborate them based upon my understanding, based upon what I have learned over the last six, seven years from my different mentors. And the idea that we're going to discuss today, it's this. You already have what you need to succeed. Now, I want you to really pay attention to this line. That you already have what you need to succeed. You know, you can go and read multiple different books on success, philosophy and mindset. You can attend seminars, you can, you know, watch videos, you can listen to audios. And there is going to be one truth that is going to be impressed upon your mind over and over and over and over again. And that truth is that you already have what you need to succeed, irrespective of your gender, irrespective of your profession, irrespective of your age, irrespective of your locality, your location, your area. Every single person on this planet have what it is required for them to succeed on this planet. You know, within you lives a world of possibilities, talents, ideas, skills, that you may not recognize that you already have. Your success and your fulfillment won't depend upon changing your nature, but instead it depends upon discovering who you already are. Now, you may not fundamentally change yourself, but you learn how to use what's already there within you. Now, when most people try to achieve success, you know, they try to find their answers somewhere outside themselves and that's the biggest mistake they make you know they are they're looking for for an answer and they're looking forward for an answer somewhere in the outer world and they don't realize that the answer is within it's all within yourself and what you have to understand is that that most of the big successes that people achieve are simply because they apply their natural talents and abilities in an intelligent way. So that's what I want you to think about from this today's podcast. As I repeat, as I'm repeating this again and again and again, that you do not need, you do not need to go outside and fetch an answer, but you need to study about yourself. You need to study about who you are. You need to study about the powers that you possess so that you can dig deep within yourself and you can get the results that you're seeking, my dear friends. Now, the more you explore your nature, your true relationships and the pattern in your life, the more you will be able readily to tap into that potential. Determine what natural gifts you already possess. 
and what resources you already have access to. Now, this takes me back to a quote, you know, that I read many, many years ago, I think six, seven years ago. It is from Etal Hunt. And by far, it still is my one of the best quote that I have ever read and ever understood properly. If you want to be successful in your life, start from wherever you are and with whatever you have. Most people struggle in life because they try to always, you know, have extra money, extra health. They always, they always say is that I wish I could have more money, then I can do this. I wish I could have more time, then I can do that. But the funny thing is that you never need that extra. The extra will only come to you once you properly utilize what you already have. You know, I remember six years ago when I started my business, I didn't even have a proper setup. You know, right now you're listening to my voice. It is so clear. It is so loud. It is so purely edited. Now, when I say edited, that means it is properly edited. Many, many years ago, six, seven years ago, when I started my business, I only had a mobile phone. But I had a dream. I had a vision in my mind. And I wrote this quote from Angel Hunt that start from wherever you are with whatever you have. And I, and I put it on, on the wall of my room. And I kept reminding myself that Subir, it's not about fancy equipment. If you don't have right them, if you don't have them right now, that doesn't mean you will never have them. You will only have them once you start using what you have right now. So at that time, I pick up my phone, I started recording audios, I started recording videos, I started coaching people. And you know what? Slowly and steadily, I progressed. I achieved growth. I achieved success. And that success kept on multiplying, kept on multiplying, kept on multiplying. Because I understood one reality. And the reality was that you already have. You already have what you need to succeed. You don't have to go outside and fetch anything. Never. You know, you have to learn. Like, for example, you, you can have a computer. Now, you don't have to learn how to make a computer. You don't have to learn how the internet is working. All you need to do is that the internet is there and you don't have to learn how to use it. You don't have to learn how to make it. You have to learn how to use it. Similarly, you have powers. You have possibilities within you. And there is a marvelous potential, my dear friend. You beautiful soul who is listening to this podcast right now. So learn about your nature. Nourish your nature. Everybody has something good within them. And your job on this planet is to nurture the good that is there within you right now. Nurture that possibility. Nurture that power and that is there within you right now. Don't go somewhere outside because the success that you're seeking is within you. So all you have to do is begin to grow. Then let the process of nature guide you towards your own unique potential. Now when I say begin to grow, that means do something better than yesterday, today. And then tomorrow, do it a little more better. Every single day, your only motive should be keep expressing the power, the possibility that is there within you. As I said, if you have a mobile phone, start from it. Slowly and steadily, you will attract money that you require. But make some efforts. You know, I have not seen, I have never seen a person who is super successful and who has everything in the beginning now they never have everything in the beginning in this physical form but they always have them in the spiritual form they believe it they believe it from the bottom of their heart my dear friends that they will attract it and that is what you got to do you have to attract attract the things that you desire attract the things that you need but that all start with doing whatever you can all right now look at this example all right when you plant a seed in the earth that seed is already capable of becoming a tree but that seed require sunlight water proper nutri you know proper you can whatever we call them you know the nutrition everything pesticides I and mean, everything is provided to that seed 
the seed becomes a gigantic tree. Similarly, the seed of achievement is there within you. It's inside your mind. Nourish your mind. Nourish your mind with proper information, with proper ideas. And you see how it will, how it will elevate. You see how you will grow. Remember that the desire within your heart is seeking expression to enter you. These are the lines of great, you know, Ralph Waldo Emerson, I think. And these are the powerful lines. Desire is the possibility that is seeking expression. It's never bad to have desires. In fact, it's good to have desires. And you should have desires. Okay. When you have desires, you know what happened? You express them and you keep growing, keep growing, keep growing. Remember, a more fulfilling and impactful life is possible for you without changing who you are. Because the mighty oak tree, the mighty oak sleeps within you right now. And all you need to do is wake up that oak tree, the gigantic oak that's there within you, that's there within your heart right now. The abundance, the power, it's all there in the universe. It's all there. So tap it in yourself. Study books. Find a mentor. And remember the words of H.L. Hunt. Because I'm going to finish the podcast now with a quote from H.L. Hunt. Start from wherever you are with whatever you have. Because you have everything that is required for you to achieve the success that you are seeking. So if you like this podcast, share it with your friends, share it with your family. And listen to this podcast often enough. Just listening it once or twice will not make a change. But once you listen it over and over and over and over again, it is going to shift something within your mind. It is going to reprogram your brain with the positive brain cells. And steadily and slowly, you're going to become a new you. And then you will believe that you have everything that is required for you to achieve the results that you're seeking. So on that note, thank you so much for watching my video, watching my podcast, listening my podcast. I love sharing these messages with you and I would appreciate your support if you subscribe my channel and if you share it with your friends and your community. And for now, take care, live your life the way you want to live. And I'll see you next time in the next episode or in the next video or maybe an interview. So take care, everybody. See you next time. Signing off. Sukhbir Singh.